Uh, go on, my little pad ones. That, that, that. You know what time it is. Mm -mm -mm. Bam, 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 bam. Mm -mm. Yo. Let's go. Back again. Ooh, we back again with the new shoes, boy. Panic, how's everyone doing today? Yo, trying to go live yesterday. But unfortunately, we had the electric guys come around to do the electric work. And they said they were only going to be an hour, which ended up being four hours. And then it just didn't happen. So instead of forcing it, I just figured to myself, we're trying to do today. Good to hear, man. Good to hear. What are you guys drawing at the moment? Anything good? Anything cool being created? How's everyone's week been? Ugh. Yo, Retro KOS. What's up, man? Welcome to the live stream. Welcome back. Hope you've been good. What's up, what's up, what's up? A Nordic horse. Jesus Christ, bro. That's a big old piece. Let me just Google that. Horses in, in themselves could be annoying to draw because of weird faces and proportion. Nordic horse. Let's have a look with you. Oh. When you said Nordic, I imagine like um like all that Scottish um like Anglo Saxon style filigree and stuff. But no, the Nordic horse is actually just a horse. <laughs> cool hair though. Very cool hair, bro. Drist, bro. How are you, man? <laughs> Mate, I've got like what? Got an hour? Oh, wait, you got to go early, bro. Drist has got to go to work. Ah ha ha. Got that hour to draw. You can get busy making that powder ready for me, boy. Get that powder all set up for me for later on. So I can jump in and get straight to it, mate. Oh, right, guys. You know how it goes down. What am I drawing today? Boo, 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 boo. That's my soundboard, by the way. That's going to be um, the next investment, I think, for the live stream. It's going to be a soundboard. That way I can just start pressing buttons whenever I feel like putting some sound over this uh, this live stream. Yeah, when you say, yeah, when you say Nordic, that's what I uh, that's what I visualised. But also, I just I just googled it then. The Nordic horse is just a, uh, like a horse <laughs> in itself. Yes, mate. Get my table ready. Get my little table. Make sure it's clean. Make sure my buckets are ready. Get that powder all done, boy. We need to get some walkie-talkies for work so we can start communicating from across the room. You be like, yo, yo, code red. The lane is behind you. And then you be like, oh, <laughs> code red. What's that? Eh? What's the name? What's it? Veruca. <laughs> Veruca. Fuck knows what her name is. <laughs> Hello, Kian. Hello, bro. Right, guys, we only have an hour today. Oh, bro. That ain't too bad, to be honest. It's ain't that bad a product. Everyone complains that at work, like, oh, this is such a bad product to be doing. All it is is the same as every other product. We've got to put a little flower in it. Mate, if I... Oh, actually, 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 can you make sure we get that table still? That's a, that's a good table to be on. The one in the front. If you can, mate, if you can reserve me that table. I'm actually just coming early so I can get a table. Right, right, guys. What are we drawing today? You know how it goes by now. You just give me the... Give me the ideas, and then together we create it. So whoever checks the first idea out, we can just start it. Boom, 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 boom. 
Bum, 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 bum. Mate. I think people just love to complain in that place. Go on then, Buscare. What's your strange idea? Do it, bro. So yeah, if anyone don't know... Oh, dinosaurs, first one. <coughs> Dry bones. Is that your idea? Dry... <laughs> A dinosaur and a duck. How about a duck riding a dinosaur with dry bones? A dinosaur, duck, dry bones. But is dry bones your idea? Is that just a slang? But <laughs> a dino would be cool. Okay. What dinosaur? Any T-Rex? It's some of these drawings in it are not even finished either. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I'm not gonna lie, we've got an hour, mate. So, a dinosaur, a duck, or a dinosaur riding a duck. Nah, but that's cool, that's cool. Oh, oh, let me just Google that. Dry bones. Let's go! <laughs> Super Mario. Oh, mate, yeah, that's actually a sick character design. Dry bones, a duck, riding a dinosaur. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, Brody, how you doing, man? You good? Okay, T-Rex time. Scared, bro. <laughs> That's actually a good idea, man. That's actually not a bad idea. A robot T-Rex is driven by a dino. A robot T-Rex. Robot T-Rex. Doing your favourite thing to do. My favourite thing to do. Smash it. <laughs> no, I'm broken. I'm joking. A robot T-Rex is driven by a duck. Okay, okay. Well, let's, do, let's do a robot T-Rex driven by a duck. Yeah, let's do dry bones though as well. Drist. We'll actually do dry bones because it's a cool little design, to be honest. Kind of just like that Pokemon. Um, the Pokemon with the score over its head with the bloody bone. Okay, okay, okay. Good, good, good. Let me, um, let me just type in T-Rex. I got a cool one. This, is a bit, this will be a big one, by the way. So if we only manage to get the sketch down today, that may be all we can do. But I'd rather get down a sketch that's good than just get like a finished piece that's just trash. And I think we yeah, have we'll take two pages up. Oh come on internet. Click the click 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 click. Now bro. The robot one's good. The robot's a good idea. And being driven by a duck, it actually makes cool sense. That way now you can have like a, a duck that's evil. Like on the controls. That's actually probably uh probably the best. Yeah, I'm I'm British. I'm British. Crispy Kringles, crispily crimps. Where are you from panic? Come on, Google. I wanna see a T Rex. Uh, Marowak, Marowak. Oh, that's the that's the Pokemon, right? That's the evolved one. That's a cool Pokemon. It was shit like in the game, but <laughs> it looked cool. Hmm. I ain't gonna go. Turkey, Turkish, bro. People always think I'm Turkish because I look Turkish, but nah, I'm British, mate. Ignore all that battery flashing sign as well. <laughs> I got another battery, I'll change it up. Alright. Give me a second, I'm gonna get a picture of a dinosaur. Just so I know what a dinosaur kind of actually looks like. I don't draw dinosaurs very often. I 
Yeah, battery's low, mate, but I've got another one. But they're both, like, sort of half-charging, so I'll switch up in a second. All right, let me just get um, 4G on my phone and get a dinosaur picture up. Hey, Drist, I'll see you in a little bit, mate. I'll see you in a little bit. See you in, like, an hour or two. Yes, England, the worst country ever, bro, it is. Not long, mate, not long. Nah, I find it the worst country ever, but it ain't good. <laughs> yeah, battery will die, man. I've got two different batteries, so I can change it up, but they're both half-charged, so I'm, like, letting the other one charge as much as it can to the point it just dies, and then I can switch over. Alright, I'm actually going to use a... Like, I'm drawing a T-Rex, a T okay? So, this is how I work. I don't know what T-Rex really looks like because I'm not a big dinosaur fan, but if I can get the skull... I'm looking, well, basically I'm going to look for the skull. The reason I'm looking for the skull is because we're doing a robot. And the skull will basically be the closest form to like a, an actual robot skull. T-Rex skull. T-Rex skull. Okay, now we're good. That's what I needed. All right. Okay, I'm seeing this like, it's going to be weird because the duck is so big, I'm going to have to do two pages, but the duck is going to, um, the duck is going to be on the back. And we made the duck look like something like Crash Bandicoot, so let's just go. Basic shape, basic shape. May the gods guide my pencil well today. Mm, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Really ambiguous sort of shape, okay. Watch this. Back of the skull. Front of the skull. This robot as well. I, w I really want to focus on the face being the most ugliest, but makes sense. Because T Rexes have a lot of flesh skin. And the same if you panic, you're doing a Nautic horse, you know there's a lot of um, a lot of skin. And what that means is that, like, if you take a skull, for example, a skull uses a lot of curvature so you can hide a lot of. Um, detail close together so the socket is close to the jawbone um say like a horse's face because there's a long bit of flat almost flatness it's hard to it's harder to hide mistakes a little line off that flat surface and then yeah it doesn't look too great i want this dinosaur as well to look kind of in like disbelief like metal gear solid when you get a little Ding. See, that only my soundboard, bro. That's when they set that soundboard. Metal Gear Solid sound. You know, you get, you get an alert. Ding. It's coming home. <laughs> no one like. And the thing is with the England, they've got such bad reputation across the world. I've been to Spain, I've been to Amsterdam, uh, Thailand, but Australia. No one sort of favours. As soon as you say, oh, you're, you know, they don't really. They just expect it's just going to be a bunch of drunk people screaming, it's coming home. <laughs> but nah, nah, nah. It ain't, that, it, ain't, it ain't all bad, man. Like, you can find a good in anywhere if you look hard enough. But it just depends what you like. For me, it's not the place I want to I stay anymore. Um, so I'm definitely going to be moving on once the borders are open. Alright, give me a longer pen swatcher. Give me just a bit of, bit of momentum. Just give you guys a little thought process right now. Um, I'm not trying to look to put the detail in right now. I'm just putting lines where I'm guesstimating where things will be. The reason is is you get way more flow shape instead of being real stiff. I remember when I first started drawing, every line I was trying to perfect straight off the bat. And all that does is give you a lot of anxiety because you don't think, wow, it's looking really good. I, I don't want to mess this up. And by having that thought in your head, it really does screw you up. <laughs> hey, I want to give it sort of like a... It's not really a T-Rex shaped nose. Or mouth. But it's more animated anyway. It's coming home. <laughs> Christmas, like England, Christmas songs, football songs. 
The fucking... They're so bad, it's amazing. Yeah, so... So and also, we're doing a robot one, but I'm still going to look to first put in the actual skull of a T-Rex. Stick, this is what I mean when you want to have, like, practice from real life. I don't draw a dinosaur, so this is the first time I'm drawing reference from a from something I'm not used to. But I'm still sticking to the real form. And then later on, I'm going to start bending the shapes to make it robotic. I'll show you what, I'll show you what I mean anyway. Oh, I should have done this head the other way because I could have done the neck in a really cool position. And what I had to begin with, I wanted to have him kind of shocked looking, but it's sort of already just took in its own way. Um, so I'm just going to have to follow that now. <laughs> he looks way more aggressive than what I wanted him to be. But here... Got to put this in. Okay, so really rough right here. Any ideas to make him look robotic? If anyone has anything, just to think. Obviously, it's tubes and steel. But here we go. Now I can start. I know, like for the back, it has like hair. I can switch it up for like blades. T-Rex's arms look absolutely ridiculous. I always thought that was like a little joke. That cannot be real. The anatomy on a T-Rex. Jeez, why would you? Why would God give an animal such huge body and tiny arms? God is actually a sick, sick man. <laughs> Go on, fizz, fizz, fizzila. To be honest, it's kind of like Charizard right here. Which isn't bad. Oh, I know what. Because he's a robot, that means that now we can start adding things like... Flamethrower in his mouth. Yeah. If anyone can hook me up with a soundboard, I promise you it'd be massively appreciated. Starting to throw like, um... Few shapes here. More will help, bro. Charizard, gotta catch him on. I know what you're saying. Yeah, so it's almost like, uh, detached. No, no, I know exactly what you mean. It's like when, uh, if you've seen Ghost in a Shell, there's like, with a, she has like, this woman has this mask on, but it opens up, so it breaks. So it's like, <laughs> sorry, yeah, I, I do a sound effects because my mind works visually, so it's like, it breaks off the skin. Um, I know exactly what you're saying. So let's just take... It's a good idea. It's a very good idea. So, uh, let's say this is in place. But right, let's just draw... The, yeah, the neck actually would be a good point to do it in. The head should have been done the other way now, because I could have done the body twisting around and had the duck here. Hey, I'm going to do that instead. It's going to be crammed, but it will make for a better picture. So that will be a duck's head, which we'll figure out later. Right now, it's all about... That. I, I know what you mean. So you're saying like, um, right, here's the neck, so then you can divide it off, try it off, and then this back bit would be like a sheet of metal, like so. Just, just roughly do it for now. Like that, which would connect back to obviously the skin, and then it would come in parts, like this. And then, you'd be able to see like a light underneath, or like all the robotics. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. And then we'll give it some sharp blades. I feel like with robotic stuff, there's always, like, 
the generic shapes. These blades here, with this, always is the one. But yeah, I like the armor. It's basically yeah. I, I suppose it's like kind of like thinking about pin armor on the T Rex. By the way, this is looking um, very dragon like, but I can imagine um, that's not all bad because dragon and T Rex. I mean, they have both got that same kind of skull shape for sure. I feel like the only thing that escapes of a dragon from a T-Rex would be the, the whiskers that come from the nose. And then obviously you've got the underbelly here. And then again. Boom. But. He's chained up with this duck. Which I actually have a video on page on how to draw ducks. So. Come in useful. And I'm going to draw it real blocky, this duck. Just blocked out. Hmm. Yeah, he needs a Terminator eye. That's what I tried to figure out. Let me see if I can go to Google. Terminator eye, Terminator eye, Terminator eye, Terminator eye. Come on then. Terminator I I I Captain Term Terminator no Terminator I Yeah let's actually give it you know he's got his half his face is blown off. Let's just copy that. <laughs> so it's like all red and then it comes out all the electronics. And he was like, yeah, let's just like half his face has just been blown off. That's what he needs. Some of that anatomy does not make any sense. But then, yeah, you just do these little cables, I suppose. Little cables. Yeah. Yes, there we go. That's got a bit more shape to it now. And then we can draw like a few cables in. Bit more texture in there, then obviously, yeah, you can continue a bit more on the skin. Now, I kind of want the whole thing to look kind of robotic as well. Yo, 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 that Audi commission you done, bro. That was really, really cool with the background. Really cool, Waste. How you been, man? Another fire drop. <laughs> yeah, I like that breaking of the of the skin. I want to do a few more like that, like that, and a few more spikes. Just roughly for now. Come off the back. Grinding on my lap. Grinding on my lap. Yes, mate. Yes, the same, bro. But not grinding on the things I work. I want to be grinding on, if I'm honest. Bro, I, I, trying to draw nowadays, I'm sure now, now I've got a full-time, I've got a full-time job for about a while, so now it's like trying to do the drawing, and that is real hard, and I've got the Patreon trying to get done, I'm trying to just keep that going, and if I can't keep it up, then I'm going to have to make uh, the bold decision, do I want the money, or do I want to be able to do my art, and the money will come, bro, it's such a, art is such a bloody war, bro. Right now I do not feel like I'm doing as much art as I can. 
and I'm not going to produce all the videos that I want to produce, if I'm honest. Um, just because of the time, mate. It takes time to do a... Even do the Patreon print of the month, it takes... It takes me like two and a half days to do a print. And I haven't got... That's full days. And I've got like, what, weekends to do so. And that's still not finished on the weekend. And it's catching on and... Bro, right. I can't complain. It's all going good, man. It's all going good. It's just figuring out the solution to the problem. But... Damn. Oh, I don't like that arm. I don't like that arm. I thought that'd be a good place for your arm. Grinding all my life. Grinding all my life. Yeah, that push. Yeah, bro. That Audi commission, mate. You and push smash that to absolute bits, mate. I want to have him saying something. Oh, no. I always want him saying something. I have him thinking something. Oh, shit. I just changed my battery. Give me two seconds. Give me two seconds. Oh. Thanks for that guys, see? Always got my back from day one. You're the realist. Alright, go ahead. Is that back on? Let me just have a look, check, double check. Oh, bro, that says low battery too. That's not good. That's not good. This is low battery. I don't know how much battery. Oh, bro, I don't know what's going on today. Don't know what is going on with the low batteries. Does I mean the other day I was supposed to go live and <laughs> the electric men come around and they were there all day and then today the batteries are both not there. It's like what's going on? Yeah, this is another thing as well that's happening in my life. Like little things keep happening like this. Ah! So I apologise. I'm trying my best. Yo, Ben, how are you, bro? Ben Hackett. Excelsior! Put his little monocle on. Hmm. This dinosaur, by the way, is absolutely mad looking. <laughs> Let's do like lasers on the back of his hand as well. Like he's got some sort of laser, like gun thing. Also, what should we have him thinking about? I'm going to put a little thought bubble. What does the robotic dinosaur think about when he's not riding his um, duck around? <laughs> Strap the duck in as well, put some straps around. Make sure he's got some sort of like carrying thing. Yeah, we do like a basket here, just like a little paint. That's another little, little, little spray paint. Dino paint. Digimon, Digimon monsters. This thing is savage, by the way. I'm, this is something I am for sure going to finish. If you guys think as well, on the Patreon I'm doing like uh, the print of the month. If you think I should somehow do these in neat, so say you're like, oh, that was a sick one we all designed, and you'd rather have that for a print instead of like just a random picture that I've drawn um, let me know that could be a thing I could do 
So that's kind of cool, the fact like we've done it together, and then you get to keep the print. Now this thing is massive. Okay, this is going to be dangerous, but I haven't got much time. We've got like half an hour, so what I'm going to do is straight up, confident it out, and blast out all the outline now. And here I'm just going to get my trusty pencil. Sup, 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 brother. What's up? What's that? Right. Uh, I need like a scrap bit here. Give me two seconds. Give me two seconds. What's this on? Alright. Also, alright, let me just make sure that I don't have to put anything in place. Hmm. So yeah, I need him. We need him to like to be thinking something. So anyone got any suggestions? We throw it in there. Oh, Bob, how are you doing, man? I was wondering where you were at in the last live stream. How's life in uh, Canada, bro? <laughs> you still, you still not got that only cans account yet. That's where the real money is at. Screw all this graffiti malarkey, mate. Only, only cans. I thought that'd be up and running by now. I thought you'd be like sponsored by Iron Lack. Can I just say something as well? Do you not think like the girl graffiti scene is like way out of whack? Like the amount of times nowadays I go on Instagram and there's just this girl in like tight shorts. And she's doing like a piece of graffiti, but all the camera angles are just shot on her ass. Literally, she's there like waving the can around, and it's like, I think it's got like what? They get like, there's hundreds of thousands of views, and it was like, no, oh, you're amazing. And it's like, you don't even get to see the graffiti piece. It's just a, a girl in like shorts, spray painting the wall, but you never see the piece. Yo, some boys as well. So thirsty on the, on the ground. Crazy. I love quack. <laughs> yeah, more like crack. <laughs> yes, Brody. Yeah, I was literally when I was saying that, I thought that as well. I was like, well, wait, wait a minute. You see, they skater girls too. They're like, got their fingers out, like, peace, peace. And they're like naked on the skateboard. No, Bob, no, Bob. The, I had the electric people come to my house yesterday. And they're only supposed to be here for an hour, but they were here for like three. Just turning the electric on and off, and it was just wasn't going to happen t yesterday. So I put a little status up on my YouTube, being like, "Look, it's not going to happen, but we're trying to get it done tomorrow." And then even today now, the back both my batteries are like on low battery, so I'm like charging and switching. Things that's life, bro. Nothing rarely ever goes that smoothly, <laughs> and if it does, it's a blessing. Okay, one kind of, here I'm gonna have this like skin ripping as well. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. Right, how would I do that? Oh yeah, that would that make sense? No, no, I know what I've done wrong. I know what I've done wrong. I made a mistake here. That's the rubber What am I doing? Right.
Nekem, 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 nekem. Auto robotics as well. I just feel like you can just sort of make a lot of it up with these small shapes. There you go. Get that little line in. <laughs> Stay off the quack, kids. This is going to make graph weak, man. What? What, you mean like all the girls and stuff? Oh, in fact, you're Bob. Thank you, mate. Yeah, that's a big, big wall, bro. That's a big video as well. That was a good little, uh, good little commission piece. That was real. That was real fun to do as well. The the guy there as well was so relaxed. He just sort of let me get on with it. Um, just do my thing. Sometimes you got commission jobs. You got like, what? Well, a lot of you probably know. That, like everyone just comes in. It's like, oh, you spend half the time talking to people, which is good for networking. I get it. But then half the time, like, bro, I just want to get on with this wall. He was just chill with it. He's like, man, I'm just gonna go now. Leave you do your thing. Um, yeah, I'll see you later. And I was like, oh, mate, that's like perfect. Same when you do graffiti pieces, if you're doing like a busy, like a legal wall, but it's busy, as soon as you get there, get the paint ready, what are you going to paint? Oh, I love the colours. And obviously people are being polite, but it's just like the whole day, it's like half the day spent, oh yeah, just having a conversation. Conversating. Conversating. Charles Ard vibes on this one. Charizard vibes all day. Okay, this will be a good bit. I'll make a real squared out shape here. Very robotic. Blast that shading down. Put those things you see in the front of the cars. So cool the engine down. And then just a few more robotic shapes. I feel like it's just got to be the eye that gets popping. Yo, Brisker, you guys met, you guys came out of it. <laughs> this is your idea, I'm just drawing it. I kind of, I kind of feel like I'm rushing. Only because I'm against the clock here. As always, bro. But. I feel like we're making it work. We make it work good. We always do. I just need a day, I just need a day of like, actually like, once the idea is down, it's easy to like, get it finalised, it just takes a lot of time to make sure it's all correct and in place. Well, you guys already know that anyway. Mate, boom, boom. Yeah, I think the thing with like, all the girl writers, like, back in the day you had like, Mad C and stuff, who just did the pieces, and uh, Rosie one, like, women writers that are amazing. So I wonder like, what the hell, like and it's just some blonde blonde model who's like shaking a spray can around in like hot pants. <laughs> Don't hate the player though, hate the game. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna have some metal like sticking out of the head as well. I should have more sort of metal coming out of the head. 
Oh, I still count, I still count. Still count. <laughs> nah, just put some indication in the nose. I think it's the nose as well that really makes this thing look more like a dragon than a uh, T Rex. I also like that snarly look, that snarly, a lot of my characters or animals I do have like a scrunched up face. Just do the cables like clicking from under the mouth. Savage. Have anyone, have, has anyone ever tried that? technique where you draw a picture but you do it in like five minutes ten minutes half an hour stages or you even work backwards so the first picture you do in half an hour then you try and do the same sort of picture in 15 then you do it in five and then you do it in a minute apparently it's really good just to see how quick you can find out the basic forms i've seen a few things on youtube a lot of uh, animators do it who do like comic cons and stuff it says like a good technique to practice Right. And here we're gonna have a flame for our pipe thing. Oh. Yeah, I think, yeah, the people who were doing it, they were all animators themselves. Which I, I think that makes a lot more sense, because you're trying to, like, get a lot more movement in the picture. Um, yeah, they're like Comic-Con. There's actually a woman who said about it. She goes, that's how she does it. When she's just practicing, she just goes on Pinterest, gets a girl, goes, like, the 20 minutes, then does it in, like, 10, then 5, and then just in 1. It's like, a, just, like, practice, like, doing, like, just reps. Reps, reps. That's something I need to start figuring out myself. Is I'm drawing these pieces, but how many like practicing? How much practicing am I doing? Or am I just replicating the same images? Hello, bro. Hi, bro. Ho, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's low, bro. It's low. Um, the other one's charging up. I gotta keep switching them today because as I went to go set up, both batteries weren't on uh, fully charged. So I'm sort of switching around. So as soon as it goes off, if you just let me know like that. Now I can switch up again. Give me a second, give me a second. It's pretty peak to be fair. Preparation prevents uh, poor performance. <laughs> but I wanted to go live for you guys as well, so that's the, this is the only way. I could have sat there and charged it for an hour, but I didn't have that time, so just trying to make do the best schedule as I can. It's all crazy. Yeah. But I tell you what, it's weird. In your head, you I always think like, oh, I've not got the time to draw. But this has only been for what? This hasn't even been hours and forty minutes. So then you think, God, dude, like, if that's only forty minutes, who needs like a couple of hours? Hello, bro. Sorry, bro. <clears throat> Don't apologize, mate. Big red. <laughs> Big red. I 
I ain't even know if dinosaurs would be this much fun to draw, to be honest. <laughs> I didn't think about the idea myself. Alright. Let's just... Be weird. Uh, yes, yes, Bob, 100%. That's one of the most frustrating feelings. You have one of those good days, everything's just going like it's so perfect, and it comes to, let's say, the hand, and then you're just stuck there, stuck there, and 40 minutes go by. And then by the time you do get it, you just can't get it down. I don't know, I don't know what happens in those days, you just can't get it down. And the thing is, you end up putting yourself in like a frustration hole. But even if you do get it down, the next thing you move on to isn't the same. You lost that flow completely. It's so heartbreaking when that happens. Do you think you'd get that a lot, Bob? <laughs> I think sometimes as well, it's just good to take a little break. If you're going to take that break, you go away for a couple of hours, you come back, and then it's like, oh, I know what I should have done. <laughs> and it takes two seconds to fix. Because when you're like trying to get, no, oh, it's not right, it's not right. The worst is when you know it's not right, but you continue to carry on anyway. You know in your head, you're like, that's not correct, but I just haven't got it today, so it will do. And then at the end, you're like, great, I really should have, like, fixed that problem. Because now the hand's, like, twice as big as the actual head I'm doing. <laughs> this is cool, you know. This is cool. There's a lot of, there's a lot of mistakes in my head, which, I, well, not mistakes, there's a lot of things I could do to make it a thousand times better. Now I've got a foundation in. But, like, this here and... This I'd probably actually change, even though I thought it was good, good at the time. I'm going to change it now. I'm going to change it now. Here we go. I'm going to change it now. The concept's cool, but I feel like the whole thing would have to be made of, like, stereo blocks. Too blocky for this face. Way too blocky. Too but doesn't mean it's all bad. Just maybe need a few fixes. Yeah, I sort of like that shape a bit more. Yeah, so I think I actually think next Patreon, I'm just gonna do a massive uh, dinosaur. I'm actually like two dinosaurs just attacking each other. Yeah, the hands were. That is the worst, bro. Have you ever like, have you ever had it where you pick up a rubber, and you rub something out, and the rubber just leaves that disgusting black mark all over your picture? That to me. Honestly, is the worst. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst. Is you know it's wrong, and then the thing is when you know it's wrong, and someone comes up to you and is like, "Oh, I love that picture, like Bob," and you're just like, "Bro, no, you're like, don't, <laughs> you don't love it. You don't know all the mistakes I see." Oh, is the hat? Yeah, it's the hands that seem to seem to mess mess me up. Or just one bit of clothing that doesn't hang right. It just looks awkward or weird. Yeah, that rubber thing. Honestly, that is the amount of drawings. But it's all nice and tidy. The paper's neat. You pin the sketch in. Grab your rubber. It's always that rubber. It's always one rubber. Just give it a little rub and then black halfway through the picture. The girls are the worst, bro. <laughs> Oh man, some people are so funny with the art. 
and start picking it up with their hands. Like, oh yeah, I love, oh, I love this bit here. This is amazing. Oh, I really like all the shading. It's like, bro, get the hell, <laughs> get your hands off my drawing, bro. I've had someone, my mum used to do this thing where she used to put her cup on, on the drawings. She'd make a coffee and just put it on the drawing. Like, on the tracing paper and stuff. Oh, I didn't realise. I didn't realise. Not so much now. Now we're actually, like, got, we're older. She wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, there's oil stains. Yeah, bruh. Even when you, I think even when you clean it, there's some rubbers I have, and they're like, absolutely fine. Others, straight away, just smudge the hell out of your picture. Yeah, yeah, cleaning your rubbers would be probably one of the best bets to fix that. I feel like this shouldn't be a fire now. I feel like it should be like a laser beam. Just the straightest line ever. <laughs> that is the truth as well. That is everything in life. <laughs> Only once you learn the hard way, then you start thinking, oh, maybe I should have done that. up the game. Mm -mm, broken. Mm -mm, mm -mm. This is looking cool as hell. I feel like I've missed out a lot of details that I could have made it to make, like, make it look way more robotic. But I can always do the redraw. Now the concept's there. And we've got a rougher idea here. Like doing a redraw would be so much easier. Broken. Oh my god, it's on that flashy battery thing again. Well, that's like that eraser thing. You only know, remember to charge your batteries once the red flashy light comes up on your live streams. It needs like a massive shield part on the back of the spine. 
cool thing you actually do with these as well is you could have created like a clan or like a family. So just use different colours. So here you can have all the blue. You can have like emblems on the back, like up here. Like so they all work from different clans. Or you can do like a whole different dinosaur set. I, I don't even know too much about dinosaurs either, so I can't name you apart from like that Aerodactyl one. T-Rex. Like raptors. Well, I'm pretty sure that's only a thing, is like robot dinosaurs. We'll just do it better. Or even just having the armour on the dinosaur, I think it's pretty cool. Hmm. Oh, Lays a pen on the top of the wrist because why not? <laughs> Aha, duck's mouth. I kind of want to give the duck like a real like cowboy look, just because cowboys come up a lot on these live streams too. But the reason being is, if he rides a horse. It'd be cool to have him riding a robotic dinosaur. I do like the play of like old, old classic stuff that get mixed in with the new technology. Like Afro Samurai did it really well, where they're all samurai, so they fight with like a lot of samurai and old weaponry. But there's a lot of stuff like technology based, so like laptops and phones. I like the the mix of the two. Like futuristic city, but still having samurais. Like that's a cool concept. Cowboys, but real robotic looking animals that they can ride. I think that in itself is a cool concept. And that could definitely be like a new cartoon thingy. Like Pokemon or Digimon. <laughs> Robot Man! <laughs> Need to make the toys. Someone can make the toys or the action figures. They can come apart, they can piece together like Transformers. Then we're making some serious bank. Right, spikes, spikes, spikes. Has anyone ever tried to draw a robotic looking graffiti piece before? Like Mecca? This spike's too big, by the way. Let's make it smaller. Really, what? Oh yeah, just draw some more stuff. Really. Pick the khakis. Right, yo, right, yo, right, yo. Yo, oh. did you find that was a thing? You actually find it hard to draw on paper. Uh, I've used the iPad before, and it was it did feel completely different. Like there's like a little bit of a delay. But I always thought the skill might just be transferable, like hundred percent. If I could, you could draw on paper, you'd be able to just uh, create it on computer, and likewise. But no, no, the iPad was easy. Especially nowadays with like technology, you can just like press a button and have the whole colour change. 
You just get bang, bang, but oh, adjust the size of the face. Oh, adjust this, put it here. Probably invest in one, really. Probably invest in one. But yeah, it's scary. It's scary to think, like, it's something new, isn't it? It's like anything. You, like, stick to your ways, like, oh, paper's the best. And then when you do finally get it, you're like, oh, actually, this is actually a lot easier. Why were they struggling for X amount of years? <laughs> now I can just carry around one iPad and draw wherever I go. Well, I think with travelling, like, iPads and stuff has to be the one. For sure. Even you just start the sketching. It's just convenient. Convenience is just so easy. But, once again, someone's, there's something cool about having a sketchbook and just passing it to people. Yeah, yeah, the delete as well. You can just go back as many stages as you want. Deleting, um, rearranging, moving layers. You know, that, that drawing on your phone, that's something I only learned that you could really do when I was in Thailand. Um, we, I did a wall with a guy called Moai, I think, Moai. And um, he also has a YouTube channel, so he's sick, he's sick as hell. Um, yeah, he got his phone out and he was like, took a picture, and then he just started drawing on the picture there. And like, oh, my character will be here, yours will be here, and it was just planning it out in like five minutes. And I was like, Jesus Christ, like, quite cool, really. But I think there's little little tat hacks like that, just drawing on your phone wherever you go, like on the bus or just sitting waiting for something in the waiting room. That's probably how you 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 get really good at drawing without really realising it. Before you know it, you're like, oh, you're keeping these quick sketches, I don't know, I'm just drawing the waiting room as I wait. That's where it's at, instead of just trying to have these massive sit-down sessions, every no which aren't possible. I like this thing a lot, but it needs a redraw. If I redrew this, I will. I could blow it. I could draw. I could draw something so epic, which I think I might have to actually get a big piece of paper and do so. Just get a massive piece of paper, get like watercolors and ink, and then just draw a massive, a absolutely massive. Well, I kind of like the idea of a dragon more than T Rex. I like dragons, but this is what I like about these live streams and stuff is because the ideas are now there. Even though you might look at, okay, like this, and the end result of this is still cool, it's still cool, but I think the concept is really cool. Like to go full in on the robotics and stuff, start looking at like engine pieces and clogs and everything and start putting it all together. You could draw something that's like not really been seen before now. And even for you guys, I should like to sit there and go, okay, I, I want to try and draw something like that. It's like a shared, it's like a shared place of ideas. Anyway, people, and plus, Drawing on your phone, people think you're nuts. If you're reading <laughs> on your phone, people think you're nuts. Do you know what's crazy? If you walk down the street and was eating a carrot or cucumber, people think you're nuts. Yeah, if you walk in the street drinking a bottle of cola or eating a Big Mac, that's fine. <laughs> kind of twisted. Alright guys, this is not a good time for you. We're at the we're at the two o'clock mark, which means unfortunately I'm gonna have to get going to work. <laughs> oh, it's good though. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's all positive. It's all positive. It's all positive. It's all positive. So yeah, I'm once again with this one here today. It's actually been a lot of fun to create. I want to. I'm definitely gonna take this off. Uh, get some tracing paper and just redraw this because I want like the duck to be more more pushed back. There's a few things I want to change on this. Like I said, for 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 an hour's drawing, it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm not complaining. The concept's really really cool. So I think we did a good little a good little session. But yeah, um, next Tuesday will be the same again. I'm going to tomorrow evening. Well, tomorrow I'm going to try and get a lot more done on this as well. Finish it. I also got finished. The spider one we came up with the other Tuesday. What else going to... Yeah, so just those two. I'm gonna finish this. This one. This one won't take too long. And then I re well, I'm gonna finish this for the book because obviously the book is going to auction at the end of the year once it's complete. Fill up all the drawings. We put it out for sale. Um, see how much we can give to charity. Have a think of the charity still. But like I said, there'd be we still got a lot of pages to go. 
So we filled the whole thing up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that needs... No, no. I'm going to draw something up. Baby Kuma. I'm a Kuman. Alright. Alright, guys. I'm going to have to shoot off. Thank you to everybody who's uh, tuned in today. It's been, it's been fun. It's been good. It's been a laugh. We'll try, and get a, we'll try and get a longer one next time. It's just been a bit of a manic week. But I hope everyone is doing well and doing good. It's good to catch up with everybody. Um, and yeah. Any questions or anything? Hit me up on Instagram. I'll leave it here. And also, I'll also be posting the finished uh, image over on there. Hope you have a good, uh, a good day. Take care. And peace. You too, man. Hope everyone has a good week creating. And uh, next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Thanks, guys. No, no, no. Apologies for being so short today. But next week should be a bit more organised. I get things charged. And um, yeah. We get a cracking, guys. So yeah, hope you all have a good week, and see you very soon. Bye 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 bye.